Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the third week of January 2024. In case you missed it, our 2023 year in tribute is now available. We look back together and remember the year's biggest obituary headlines. Click the Legacy.com YouTube channel to watch that video today. Basketball coach Dejan Maloyevic died January 17, 2024 in Salt Lake City. He died of a heart attack at the age of 46. He was an assistant coach for the Golden State Warriors, helping the team to victory in the 2022 NBA Finals. Maloyevic is also being remembered for his professional playing career in his home country of Serbia, including on the championship-winning Serbia and Montenegro national team. Football player Ronald Powell died January 15, 2024, at the age of 32. He was a linebacker for the New Orleans Saints in the 2014 season. Powell is also being remembered for his college career at the University of Florida and his high school career in California, where he was voted MVP in the 2010 U.S. Army All-American Bowl. A note to remember, sometimes personal information, such as someone's cause of death, is not announced immediately by their family or the authorities. When a cause of death has not been officially announced, we do not report on rumors. Every family has a right to their privacy. Actor Alec Musser died January 12, 2024, at his home in Del Mar, California. He died by suicide at the age of 50. He played Del Henry on All My Children from 2005 to 2007. Musser is also being remembered for his brief but hilarious role in the movie Grown Ups. Actor and singer Bill Hayes died January 12, 2024 at the age of 98. He was a star of Days of Our Lives for more than 50 years, playing ex-con lounge singer Doug Williams. He is also being remembered for his 1955 number one hit, The Ballad of Davy Crockett. Hayes was a U.S. Navy Air Corps veteran who trained as a fighter pilot. TikTok and YouTube star Lynn Yamada Davis died January 1, 2024, at a hospital in Red Bank, New Jersey. She died of esophageal cancer at the age of 67. Millions of people watched her Cooking with Linja videos as she showed how to make pickle chips, cheesy ramen, cupcakes, and many other culinary creations. Davis is being remembered for her funny, quirky videos and her useful cooking tips. Musician Larry Collins died January 5, 2024, in Santa Clarita, California. He died of natural causes at the age of 79. He was a child star in the 1950s as one half of the rockabilly act The Collins Kids, known for early rock hits like Hop, Skip, and Jump. Collins is also being remembered as a songwriter, who co-wrote such hits as Delta Dawn, You're the Reason God Made Oklahoma, and Any Which Way You Can. Baseball player Bud Harrelson died January 11, 2024, in East Northport, New York. He died of Alzheimer's disease at the age of 79. He won two World Series with the New York Mets, one in 1969 as shortstop and a second in 1986 as a coach. Harrelson is also being remembered as a co-founder and owner of the minor league Long Island Ducks. Radio DJ Annie Nightingale died January 11, 2024, after a brief illness at the age of 83. She was a trailblazer as the first woman to work as a presenter on BBC Radio 1. She remained with the network for more than 50 years as its longest-serving broadcaster. Nightingale is being remembered for her passion for music, championing new and underground artists throughout her record-setting career.
Makeup artist Reggie Wells died January 8, 2024 in Baltimore. He died of natural causes at the age of 76. He was Oprah Winfrey's personal makeup artist for more than 25 years, winning a Daytime Emmy Award for his work on her show. Wells is also being remembered for his makeup artistry for such celebrities as Beyonce, Aretha Franklin, Joan Rivers, and many more. Civil rights activist Elmore Nickelberry died December 30, 2023 in Memphis, Tennessee at the age of 92. His death was recently announced. He was one of the Memphis sanitation workers who marched alongside Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in a landmark 1968 strike to fight for better working conditions and pay. He is being remembered for his decades of work for the city, only retiring in his late 80s as low pay and pension benefits forced him to continue working. Nickelberry was a U.S. Army veteran of the Korean War. Stuntman Conrad Palmasano died January 10, 2024 at the age of 75. He had a long career as a stunt performer and coordinator on movies and TV shows like Rambo First Blood, The Cannonball Run, Charlie's Angels, and many more. He is also being remembered for his work as a second unit director on such movies as She's Having a Baby, Robocop 2, and X-Men The Last Stand. Paul Masano was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran of the Vietnam War. Journalist Ruth Ashton Taylor died January 11, 2024, in San Rafael, California, at the age of 101. She was the first woman newscaster on the West Coast, working at the powerhouse TV news channel KNXT in Los Angeles, now known as KCBS. Taylor is being remembered as an inspiration for generations of women to pursue broadcast journalism. Football player Norm Sneed died January 14, 2024, in Naples, Florida, at the age of 84. He was a four-time Pro Bowl selection while playing for teams like the Philadelphia Eagles. Sneed is also being remembered for his seasons with such teams as the New York Giants and Minnesota Vikings. TikTok and YouTube star Brian Barczyk died January 14, 2024, of pancreatic cancer at the age of 54. He was a reptile expert, and millions watched his videos as he fed and cared for snakes and lizards, including enduring lots of snake bites. Barczyk is being remembered for his love for animals and for the reptile zoo he founded near Detroit, the Reptarium. Actor Peter Crombie died January 10, 2024, after a brief illness at the age of 71. He was a memorable guest star on Seinfeld, playing Crazy Joe Davola, who menaced Jerry and the gang. Crombie is also being remembered for his performances in such movies as Natural Born Killers and Seven. Costume designer April Ferry died January 11, 2024, at the age of 91. She won an Emmy Award for her work on the TV series Rome, and she also designed costumes for Game of Thrones. Ferry is also being remembered for designing costumes for such films as Big Trouble in Little China, The Big Chill, and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Actress Lynn Marta died January 11, 2024, at her home in Los Angeles. She died of cancer at the age of 78. She had roles in movies like Footloose and Three Men and a Little Lady. Marta is also being remembered for appearing on such TV shows as Starsky and Hutch, Love American Style, and Days of Our Lives. Writer Tom Shales died January 13, 2024, in Alexandria, Virginia. He died of COVID-19 and kidney failure at the age of 79. 
He was the longtime television critic for the Washington Post, winning a Pulitzer Prize for his witty, cutting insights. Shales is also being remembered for his books, including Live from New York, An Uncensored History of Saturday Night Live. Musician Joel Saunier died January 13, 2024, while on tour in Texas. He died of a heart attack at the age of 77. He was a Cajun and country music singer, songwriter, and accordionist who won a Grammy Award in 2013 for Regional Roots Music Album of the Year. Saunier is being remembered for country music singles like Tear Stained Letter and No More One More Time. Actress Tisa Farrow died January 10, 2024, in Rutland, Vermont. She died of cardiopulmonary demise at the age of 72. The sister of Mia Farrow, she had roles in such movies as And Hope to Die, Fingers, and Zombie. Farrow is also being remembered for leaving Hollywood in the 1980s and working as an emergency room nurse for many years. Dr. Roy Calm died January 6, 2024, in Cambridge, England. He died of heart failure at the age of 93. He was a British surgeon who specialized in transplants, performing the first liver transplant in Europe and other pioneering transplants. He is also being remembered for his work in helping the body accept transplanted organs via both surgical and medicinal techniques. Colin was a veteran of the British Army, who served in the Royal Army Medical Corps. Soccer player Mario Zagallo died January 5, 2024, in Rio de Janeiro. He died of multiple organ failure at the age of 92. He was the first person to win the World Cup as both a player and a coach, achieving that feat in 1970. He also held the record for the most World Cup victories with four, two as player and two as coach. He is being remembered as one of Brazil's soccer icons. Zagallo was a veteran of the Brazilian Army. Composer Peter Shickley died January 16, 2024 at his home in Bearsville, New York at the age of 88. He was better known as P.D.Q. Bach, the musical persona he created as the fictional composer of his skillfully written classical music parodies. Shickley is also being remembered for inventing silly musical instruments like the trombone, a cross between a trombone and a bassoon, and for composing the electronic score for the movie Silent Running. Actress Joyce Randolph died January 13, 2024, at her home in New York City. She died of natural causes at the age of 99. She starred on The Honeymooners as Trixie Norton, the wife of Art Carney's character. Randolph is being remembered as the last surviving actor from the classic sitcom. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. Five years ago this week, actress and singer Carol Channing died at the age of 97. She won a Tony Award for her starring performance in Hello, Dolly! Eight years ago this week, musician Glenn Fry died at the age of 67. He was a founding member of the Eagles, singing lead vocals on songs like Take It Easy, Already Gone, and Heartache Tonight. Eight years ago this week, actor Alan Rickman died at the age of 69. He was unforgettable in such movies as Die Hard, the Harry Potter series, and Love Actually. Fifteen years ago this week, actor Ricardo Montalban died at the age of 88. His memorable roles included Khan in Star Trek and Mr. Rourke in Fantasy Island. Fifteen years ago this week, artist Andrew Wyeth died at the age of 91. His painting, Christina's World, is one of the best-known pieces of American art. 
30 years ago this week, singer and songwriter Harry Nilsson died at the age of 52. His hit songs included Without You, Coconut, and Everybody's Talkin'. Singer and actress Aaliyah was born 45 years ago this week. She died in August 2001 at the age of 22. She had top hits with Try Again and Miss You, and she starred in such movies as Queen of the Damned. Singer and songwriter Robert Palmer was born 75 years ago this week. He died in September 2003 at the age of 54. His hits, like Addicted to Love and Simply Irresistible, exemplified 80s style. Civil rights icon Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born 95 years ago this week. He was assassinated in April 1968 at the age of 39. He was honored with a Nobel Peace Prize for his lifetime of work in pursuit of equal rights for all. Actor Cary Grant was born 120 years ago this week. He died in November 1986 at the age of 82. He was one of the great leading men of classic Hollywood, known for movies like Bringing Up Baby and North by Northwest. I'd like to take a quick moment to salute one of Legacy's wonderful partners. The National World War II Museum in New Orleans is where America honors the stories of all our elders who lived through the war that changed the world. You can help support the National World War II Museum yourself by making a charitable donation of any size through this YouTube video. Just click the donate button on this video's YouTube page. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Mississippi have been lowered to honor the memory of George County Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy Todd Malone, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Iowa have been lowered to honor the memory of Dan Marburger, principal of Perry High School. Flags in Kansas have been lowered to honor the memory of 31st District Magistrate Judge Tom McCulka. Flags in Kentucky have been lowered to honor the memory of Secretary of the Executive Cabinet J. Michael Brown. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.